What's going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here back in another Division video. So as you can tell, I am in survival. I went in there by myself and I'm right beside the box of antivirals. I had just gotten them, got out of my menu and you can see I've been downed by a runner with an M870 shotgun. I literally got them, went to see uh, what kind of clothing and stuff I had to see if I could get any warmer and all of a sudden I was bum rushed and downed. You can see I'm in a back alley, I'm in a pretty bad spot. I'm around the corner from DZ06 and a minute and a half in to being downed. So I was just ready to give up and all of a sudden, this guy comes out of nowhere. I mean, again, look at where I am, horrible spot. Basically, somewhere I didn't think I was gonna be spotted whatsoever. But a complete stranger comes by and this is the first time that I have ever encountered this in the dark zone and I am not kidding whatsoever. The first time. Usually people would just sit there and wait for you to die. Instead, he's fighting my enemies, which I thought was a, a bit odd at first. I actually thought he was here to just scoop my loot because I've got a contaminated bag on my back. And that means when I'm done, he can take that. Instead, to my shock and super massive amount of surprise, this guy revives me. So Caliber BX, if you are watching this, if you do come across this, I know I already thanked you once, but I'm doing it again. Huge shout out to you, man, because this was completely unexpected. I was very, very unlucky with this survival run. I mean, in terms of getting tools, fabric, electronics, gear, clothing, weapons, all of that. And no, I didn't mean to hit him. I was trying to invite him, but he ends up inviting me. I found nothing. At this point, I've got a blue weapon and all green gear except for a pair of blue gloves. No medication for the septic shock, two med kits, a smoke grenade, a gas grenade actually, and, and that's it. Literally, you know, and here I just need to get to a safe house so I could craft a flare gun and I actually had enough weapon parts and division tech for a weapon, but that is literally it. So here you can see we have now joined forces we can kind of hear each other in game chat so i'm letting him know hey i gotta get to a safe house i need a weapon because the next part after the flare gun is obviously the hunter and you know he said he was still looking for a few pieces of gear despite he's gear score 102 and i'm gear score 51 and now we're in dz06 it's the last place i want to be even red guys, if you get surrounded by them and you're only wearing green gear, if you got four or five of them, then that's enough. But we encounter more than just that along the way to the safe house. So uh, this was pretty, pretty insane. I've, usually it's if you're down and out, somebody walks over you, they wait to take your gear or something along that lines. It's usually not like this. So th this was very shocking and extremely cool at the same time, you know, so here we are, you can uh, see that we are right beside the bit. Not a place you want to be if you're under geared. When it comes to survival and looting for stuff, weapons, gear, medication, you all of that stuff, a lot of it just comes down to luck. Because even if you know the map like the back of your hand, by the time you get somewhere, it doesn't mean that what you're looking for in that area is always going to be there. It could be taken, it could be actually moved, there's places I've gone where a couple days in a row there will be something, you know, like there'll be tools in one specific location, and then the next time there won't even be a box that was empty, you know? So it, it doesn't really matter how well you know the map at all times. Sometimes, it, like I said, a lot of it is just pure luck. And here I am, these, these purple guys, they could have downed me most likely because I'm only wearing greens. And uh, yeah, it was just great that this happened. When I saw the purple drop, I was praying for weapons or a gear piece, but instead I got a crip. So again, you can see the bad luck kept rolling with, with things like that. And uh, luckily enough, at least I crafted a, a virus filter, advanced virus filter to get through contaminated areas. What I have noticed is lately the antivirals have been in places that are contaminated where you do need the advanced filter so that's one tip that for sure anybody that hasn't done this yet make sure you have that before you go to the dark zone here my my septic shock is kicking in and not only on top of saving me but the guy gives me medication i mean come on I, again there's just 
this blew my mind because I haven't encountered it yet, you know, and it, this was super generous. After the safe house, I craft a G36 and we head to the extraction. And it was actually the extraction where somebody died. So this is this person's loot and it now gave me a bit more of a fighting chance i now have all blue gear on which is still pretty crappy but i still did not have enough materials to craft any kind of offense like a turret something to help me and uh caliber i didn't have anything to make any form of healing you know overdose uh a med station anything of that sort i did still no materials anything we came across was gone but we did find some loot crates, so that made it even more tense because now I've got a bag full of goodies that I want to get out of the dark zone. And I'm still not really that well equipped to fight the hunter because really they are no joke. They're extremely smart. They can heal themselves a lot faster than we can. And, you know, they've got gadgets and the... the disrupt all all this stuff you know they're not they're no joke and i've been killed actually by somebody else's hunter so here to my surprise one more thing is i thought that was possibly a hunter because you know the other day somebody else died their hunter was still alive and caught me off guard and killed me but this ended up being another agent this guy ronan now he ends up joining our team and as i ask him if he's ready to extract or does he need anything caliber decides that he's gonna call it in anyways so now as a fire team of three complete strangers the battle is on the way and i love the way you get alerted that somebody is after you man that sounds so cool the way that they say that so now as you all know or maybe uh, some of you that are just checking out this video for the first time and don't know much about survival everybody gets their own hunter so we have now three threats on us i have no healing ability i have no turret and i mean he's got pulse and luckily a med station on top of that septic shock is still kicking in so this was a pretty intense battle being surrounded by these guys wearing blue gear only having one half decent gun nothing compared to what the hunter actually has i tried to take out his med bag there figuring that you know maybe he might not be able to drop one exactly right away but you know what the best idea what i figured from learning from this is if you're in a team focus on one hat hunter at a time if they are spaced out like this you know uh, or at least spaced out enough that you you can do that because you won't get one down with one clip i had you know they're they're very strong they can regenerate health fa very fast they can maneuver very fast so when one person's reloading and you can start shooting and taking turns doing that that's how you'll get them down and that's how i end up getting the killing glow on this one here as he's reloading i'm firing and that's that you know also a second ago i accidentally used a med kit that i did not mean to use i meant to throw a grenade but the disrupt really does you know it really does mess you up a little bit it takes a bit of getting used to and then again of course i got sniped you know we're all down to not very much health about half once again septic shock is there like us you know and i am about to start freezing to death and we still got to finish this guy off look at the way they maneuver it is just insane you know I'm, I'm extremely impressed with what they did with these guys with massive i gotta say one of the best parts of survival is fighting these guys so right there i'm alerted that my body temperature is critically low you can actually see that the screen is freezing which is another super cool thing the hunter just healed himself but luckily enough with all three of us firing from different directions we do get him down here i'm searching for basically anything and everything just in case because could you imagine if i had died right as the chopper is landing i've got six things in my contaminated bag to extract I'm going to complete the daily mission and also the weekly assignment for survival so that would just be a horrible time and another kind of cool little thing you know nothing major but the fact that when the chopper comes it actually tells you to get out of the way if you're in the landing pad area so I think this is kind of cool they says this 
very, very impressed. This was extremely, extremely enjoyable and an absolute first for me. So, you know, once again, and uh, quickly before getting into the chopper, it takes a quite a bit to hold that X button down to hop in there. It's like kind of like trying to cut the rope as a rogue agent, you know, it's, it's a lot. But once you're in, at least you know you're safe and that satisfaction that you've done it is awesome. And doing it with a bunch of strangers was really, really cool. So again, Caliber, BX, thank you so much, man, for picking me up. This was an extremely enjoyable experience and really, really happy. On top of that, guys watching, everybody watching this, if you enjoyed the video, by all means, consider dropping a like and possibly subscribing to the channel for more Division content on the way. There's lots to cover with Survival, and that's what I've been doing, and I'm going to continue doing it around the clock because I'm having a blast myself personally. PS4 users, it is on the way. Hopefully next Tuesday you'll at least get the patch and then December 20th you can dive in and start doing these things and take some of the learning lessons from the ups and downs and trials and tribulations of trying to fight from now until then by watching these videos. So alright guys, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your day, enjoy survival, and I'll see you in the next video.